we need to make three HTML files. The first we'll deal with will be the Movies List page. This will form the framework which we'll use to display the list of available movies, each with a thumbnail image, title and description. Eventually it'll look like this. Clicking on a title or thumbnail will take us to the single movie page, which has a very similar structure, but displays only one movie with a large movie image. We'll also need a generic admin page. This will do for the structure for both our users admin page and the movie admin page. At the heart of this is an HTML table with three columns in each case, one for the first name and last name of the users and for the title and description of the movies, and a column to add and delete entries. If you already know HTML5 and don't want to type this code in, as I said before, you'll find the completed files in the Working Files archive in Chapter 4. Once we get to using PHP, we'll be working in the web root directory for the Apache server that we've just installed, so we might as well start out in the right place from the beginning. This is C backslash XAMP backslash htdocs. So open up Windows Explorer and navigate there, and then make a new directory in it called Favorite Movies. Start up Komodo Edit and begin by typing in what every HTML document has to start with, as we've just seen, a doc type declaration, to tell the browser which version of HTML we're using. We'll be using HTML5 for the project, and the doc type is exclamation doc type HTML. Save the file in the favorite movies directory as index.html. Then every HTML document needs to be fully enclosed in HTML tags. In HTML5, it's recommended that all tags should be lowercase. They'll work whatever case they are, but this is best for compatibility, so I'll always use lowercase. Komodo Edit auto-completes the tags and indents the document nicely for us automatically. Within the HTML tags, we'll be adding a series of other tags to identify the various elements of the web page. Most of these, as we've seen, are going to be opening and closing pairs inside angle brackets. So inside the HTML tags, start out with a head section and below that a body section. The head tags enclose the parts of the document which do not appear in the document window. We need to tell the browser what character encoding to use with a meta tag. We're going to use UTF-8, which can display a huge range of characters for international writing systems of all sorts. Type in meta char set, character set, equals UTF-8, inside quotes, in between the head tags. And also inside the head section, we want the title tags, enclosing the title of the website, which is going to be Instant Update Database Project by webinaction.co.uk. This will appear in the title bar at the very top of the browser, not inside the browser window itself. Then we get to the part of the file which corresponds to what we do see in the browser window. This all comes in between the opening and closing body tags. In HTML5, header tags enclose the banner part of the page. These are not to be confused with the head tags that we just used, they're quite different. The head tags are for things which do not appear in the browser window, while the header is for the main title at the top of the page. So we'll use these as the first part of the document. Then inside the header tags, put a pair of H1 tags for heading level 1. HTML headings are available in six levels, with the tags H1 to H6. This is our main title for the page, so we'll use the top level heading H1 enclosing the title Instant Update Database Project. Then we're going to mark up our navigation areas. At the top right of the page, we want to be able to navigate from one moviegoer to another, and also to the admin pages. And on the left, we want to be able to click on each movie title in the favourites to see the details for that movie. HTML5 has special tags to identify navigation areas, nav, so we'll use these to enclose both of these areas. Type in opening and closing nav tags. 
and inside them divide the area up into two parts an area where our navigation header will go and the drop down list of users below it use divs for the first section i use div tags but there's no special meaning to a particular bit of the page and html5 semantic tags wherever there is some identifiable meaning this avoids having masses of divs in the markup as we used to Inside the div tags, put h2, second level heading tags. And inside them, logged in user's name. And the real name will appear there later. We want this to link back to each user's main list page, so it needs an HTML link. An a tag for anchor, and then href equals, and then inside quotes, the page to be taken to. For the moment, we'll just put in a dummy link using the hash sign inside the quote marks. This will mean that we can get the visual appearance of the link so we can sort out its style without having to worry about exactly what the details of the link are at the moment. Notice that Komodo Edit misplaced the closing A tag. So you need to do cut, cut that out, and then paste it in at the end after logged in user's name and before the closing H2 tag. Now we need to make a list of usernames. This will have in it, eventually, all the users in the database except the currently selected one, which will appear above them at the top. For this, we use the HTML tags UL, meaning unordered list. Unordered lists have no numbering. Ordered lists, for which the tag is OL, are numbered. Within the UL tags come the list items themselves in LI tags. For the moment, inside li tags, just put list of other users there. Again, we need a link so that we can style it when we come to that. So surround list of other users in ahref equals and then the hash sign again and a closing a tag at the end. So that it looks like a list, copy and paste the list item in a few more times so that we have several of them. After that, we want another unordered list, again inside UL tags. The list items are going to link to our two admin pages, manage users and manage movies. So put in two list items, again each one with a dummy link. That's the end of that nav section. Now we want a second nav section. This is the favourites list on the left, because this provides the navigation to go to a single movie. And see its details. So we need another set of nav tags, inside which we'll put an H2 heading with the title Favorites in it. Inside that, another unordered list, UL tags, and list items, LI tags, with a dummy movie title inside, say movie title for the moment, again surrounded by a dummy link. Again, so it looks like a list, copy and paste it a few more times. Now we'll do the main section of the page, which we'll enclose in section tags. Inside the section tags, in H2 tags, for second level heading, we'll put in a greeting, hi, and then in brackets, username will appear here. Later, PHP will put in the name of the current moviegoer from the database there. Under that, in paragraph tags, we'll put in generic instructions. Here are some movies you might like. Click on the heart icon to add them to your favourites list. As you've already seen, this will later change according to whether or not the user actually has any favourites already or not. Now for the most complicated part, the list of movies, because each list item is going to contain a thumbnail image, the title, the description, and eventually the Make Me A Favourite icon. We'll start with the UL tags, another unordered list, and a list element in LI tags again. Then to enclose the image, we'll use the HTML5 element figure, and inside that for the moment we'll just put the text thumbnail image. We'll get the image later. As this is going to be a link, again enclose it in a dummy ahref tag, now, to keep the images and their associated text, the title and the description together on the screen and in the markup, we'll use fig caption tags inside the figure tags. This is where we'll put the title, 
for which we'll use H3 tags, and again we want a dummy link round it. After that we'll have the movie description, in a div, still inside the fig caption tags. Then make sure it's all closed off properly and nested correctly, and that's a movie list item done. Copy the whole list item and paste it in again a couple of times, so that it looks like a list again and not just one. Finally, finish off by making the footer, inside HTML5 footer tags. This should enclose paragraph tags, enclosing the words Instant Update Database Project by learn at webinaction.co.uk. So that you always have my email address in front of you, just in case anything should go wrong. To make a link for this, use a href equals and then mail to, colon, and then the email address, learn at webinaction.co.uk. The closing body and HTML tags finish the document off. Now we can have the markup automatically checked by going to the online validator. If you select everything that we've just been writing, so select all and copy it, and in your browser, go to validator.w3.org, click on validate by direct input and paste it all in and check, and it should come back as successfully checked as HTML5. Mentions two warnings, but they're not important. So as long as you get that green message, this document was successfully checked as HTML5, then that's fine. Check in your browser and you should have an ugly page, which nevertheless contains all the elements we need for the movie's list page. In the next lesson, we'll use this to make the other two pages we need, the single movie page and the generic admin page.